Welcome friends, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark, a video series where I am exploring cocktails and in the process I'm changing out some of the spirits just to see how that affects the flavor profile. Today we're going to do something called the Loch Loman, which appeared in a 1937 cocktail book and it is essentially Drambuie, Cointreau and lemon juice. But just to throw a little bit of a curve in there, I'm going to do one with triple sec because like most of you, I know that these are both orange liqueurs and I know that they're slightly different and some people would say that they are radically different but to me they both kind of they both kind of smell the same they kind of taste the same I want to see how they react in a cocktail so here we go this is a shaken cocktail so we go in with an ounce of drambuie half ounce of Cointreau and a half ounce of lemon juice. Freshly squozen, of course. Ice our tin and shake. Okay, our glass has been chilling with some ice, so we'll get rid of that. And we double strain into our cocktail glass. Okay, second one, exactly the same. Drambuie. I like Drambuie. Um, I've realized that I kind of really like it uh, on ice on its own. It's got a really nice flavor. Um, the right amount of sweetness for me. And so exactly the same, freshly squozen lemon juice. Ice the tin and shake. Okay. And double strain just like the first one. And cocktail number two with the triple sec. So here we have the Loch Loman. As it's written in the Cafe Royale cocktail book with Drambouille and Cointreau, and a uh, variation with triple sec. Let's see, I'm gonna try this triple sec one first. It's a different color, it's a little bit darker. Let's see. Interesting. Okay, let's taste it. That's nice. That's in isolation. That is nice. Um, well balanced. The orange and the lemon sort of layer very nicely. Uh, the sweetness from the drambuie and that, you know, that honey flavor that it has and those other things. I mean, it says that it has heather in it and uh, spices, scotch whiskey, of course, that's the base spirit. Um, that is a very nice cocktail. Now let's try it as it was written with Cointreau and see if that makes it any different. So right off the bat, right on the nose, um, the, the, one, the one with the Cointreau, I'm getting a more pronounced orange, orange smell. You know, that it's right there, front facing. How can I put this in a way without sounding like a complete ass? Take your favorite brand of anything, absolute favorite name brand of anything. That's this one. And then the store brand or down market or yellow label or no name brand, that's this one. It's good, it'll do. It's got some flavor there. I really like it. This one is amazing. There's no other way to put it. Um, otherwise, they're both pretty similar. Okay, let's do a tasting test straight up between the two and see which is which. Okay, straight up, the triple sec I'm getting hotter. I'm getting alcohol on the nose. Uh, that is number one and then orange. With the Cointreau, orange with a hint of alcohol on the nose. 
So I'm going to try the Cointreau first. Orange peel. Tiny little bit of bitterness from like a pith, that pith flavor, but definitely overwhelmingly orange. Now the triple sec, which should also be orange. Okay. Hot, hot alcohol. Orange, but hot alcohol. Which is funny because the Cointreau is 40% alcohol by volume. And this one, this triple sec is 35. So I get a real alcohol burn. They both have about the same sweetness. Better orange flavor from the Cointreau than the triple sec. I, but in, you know what, in this cocktail, I don't think you could go wrong. I think no matter how you made this, it would be good. Cointreau would be amazing. Triple sec would be good. Give it a try at home. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.